What has happened, everyone? Nathan coming at you with some more National Dex Monotype here today. I've been counting up the votes, and it looks like Ground has tied with Electric, which puts me in an interesting bind. I'm going to give it to Ground here just because Electric, um, I think only got like a couple votes this cycle, whereas Ground went from like three votes all the way to 14 and had a couple comments that had like 50 up votes or something like that on YouTube. So we'll give the, uh, the edge to Ground here. And that leaves me in an interesting position of choosing what team I want to play with today. I'm going to do the sand offense sample here just because I think it's a, I've always thought the mechanics of gravity and uh, abandoned extra drill, very interesting and sand, blah, blah, blah. Just this kind of unstoppable force. Always enjoyed that idea. Um, also because there's a lot of new faces here. Like I have never played a uh, national decks ground game with, oops, let's go to you. Uh, nope, not that either. There we go. Uh, because I've never played uh, a ground monotype team with, uh, Landorus Eye, Claude's Eye, Great Tusk, or even a Garchomp Mega before. On the one hand, it seems very familiar. Like the roles that these Pokemon are going to play on my team is extremely obvious to me, and I can totally see what we're going to do to make this all work. But um, it's still very cool. I want to see like how these new Pokemon interact with the tier. Um, however, though, if you guys want to see some Sandless offense, because I know there's a lot of upvotes requesting that specifically, once again, I'm going to ask you guys to upvote this video. If we get 500 votes in the first 24 hours, then I will upload with this right away. Um, again, I don't normally do this, but like it's been a little bit stagnant lately. You guys sort of showed up big time last time I asked for this. So going to request that once again. So 24 hours again, and I will build a Sandless Mono Ground Team because there isn't one as a sample. I have no other source for it. So I'm going to, I've got some ideas of what I can do for to make it work. And I think it would be really cool. Um, we're going to go against Poison here. Awesome to see, especially with Gravity. I think they really don't stand much of a chance. Depends. If the Venusaur's max Fizz Depth, they might be able to withstand an extra drill. Um, rocks would certainly help us out. Um, I am going to lead, but they seem to be pretty offensive, actually, with the Glamora and the Iron Moth. I don't, I didn't expect to see those two. Um, let's go to Landorus here. Then this is actually a decent matchup for us. I'll go for gravity, toxic, all earth power. That's annoying. There goes all our gravity turns. Boom. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll go to hip out. I'm only going to get one turn of gravity here. Uh, actually, we're going to get none if you do this. Oh, they caught me there. Then I'll Whirlwind, because he kind of mean nothing to me. And then Iron Moth comes in, who I don't think he can kill with Energy Ball. So I'm just going to Earthquake right away. Big Glamora, good play. Not my favorite start to the game, honestly. In comes Venusaur. And I will go to Claude Sire, who should wall you pretty nicely. You could be Physical uh, Earthquake, which would definitely do some damage. But we shouldn't be able to die to Earth Power. Um, definitely want to get up Toxic Spikes. That's going to be huge. I'll Recover. Okay, fair enough. And then we're going to go to... I don't think you kill Great Tusk immediately. Maybe Guard Jumps a play. There's a lot for sure. Uh, let's just EQ for some Demoglio there. Good play. Then let's... Are you just going to defog on us? What's your answer to Iron Head at this point, realistically? Yeah, a burn. A burn is a, is a fear for sure. I'll risk, the, I'll, risk, I'll risk the Lando. Okay, they attack. That's the... I thought there's three different ways that could go. That was none of them. <laughs> uh, Exedrill apparently still can't kill with Iron Head, which is mind-boggling to me. Um, we don't have Levitate. Let's... Uh, oh, this one gets... I can't kill you, really? Let's go to Great Tusk and Knock Off? So weird. Altair's pretty important. I don't want it to take chip. I think it's gonna fall apart if Excadrill dies. You know what? Let's let's do Excadrill because things fall apart if Excadrill dies. Okay, so the calc is wrong. Things fall apart if Excadrill dies, but they fall apart ten times more if they're wheezing Galar dies, which yeah, they're in a bad way right now. Claude, I don't think you can beat me 1v1. I read dance, we are not unaware, so I'll just recover one still. They should still be forced to swap. Buck Alola's the play. Uh, let's just... That seems like an okay chance for Garchomp to come out. I don't care if we get poisoned. Yep, knock doesn't matter either. 
Got a sneak. Nope. Sloking Galar gets the axe. They're playing it well, honestly. They've made this difficult on me, but you can only do so much here. Uh, look at Great Tusk. And we get you. Who is the scariest Mon? Headlong Rush going to the Calc is only going to do 40%. Insane. Uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't love you. I don't love you. Rocks do help. This is a chance for Leech Eater right now, but I'm just Giga Draining if I'm them. So I'm going to go to Claude Sire. Uh, I, man, I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Bandit Exadrill might be able to do a KO. If they if they come in straight on rocks, we should be able to get to a KO. We have to force a swap at this point. This this Venusaur might just stay in and do it. Which is if I remember when we were in the opposite position playing against uh King Krabs, it was kind of just like Venusaur is big. What are you gonna do about it, bro? Leech seed seem, uh, seems obvious right here. Um Maybe my place is getting hippo in and then whirlwinding. I think it's just gonna die to a straight up a uh, giga drain at this point. Uh, hmm. Misses, which is nice. I'm kind of at a loss, honestly. If you're Giga Drain and Leech Seed, you haven't clicked Earth Power yet, so I don't think your Earth Power is probably Synthesis, which is hard to imagine. Hidden Power, Fire, maybe, and Sludge Bomb. I think they have Earth Power, which is nice for us. It also means Extra Drill is probably safe against Venusaur. So we might not be able to two it KO Venusaur with Exadrill, but I don't know if they can do enough back to us in the interim to really scare us. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a little bit low there for my liking. So I think now's the time to sack Hippo. So I think knowing what we know now, I believe I should be able to beat you 1v1. If you reveal a Earth Power here, that sucks. Um, 58, great. Great. Okay. Yeah. So I thought you can't really beat us. Pin Power Fire was probably your best bet, but you might not even have that. You're going to die straight up. Yeah. Okay. Got a little bit spooky there. Um, but we handle business with good old extra jewel there. I don't know if I started saying this or if I did say it before, but I, I, Monogrounds always been one of my favorite types in Monotype. It's just a, a very standard uh, type to play. I like Sandless because it's decently good as a bulky offense too. I think that's the gist of it is I like bulky offense and this is just a type that lends it to itself to it very well. Like these are just six bulky mons who are very threatening in their own right. And then we're against Digger's Boy here. So I, that Intel, I was practicing this team a little bit like for 10 minutes before I press record and I came across Digger's Boy twice. So I played three games and they were two of them. Um, I won the first game and I lost the second game because I played really stupid around the low punny and Zora or Kisui. I'm not gonna say I have an advantage or disadvantage in this matchup, but I think I'd kind of be choking if I played it wrong. Also, the Snorlax cussed that berry, and it got really crucial kills both times I played it. So I need to play very carefully around that mon. Probably just hard swap to hip out on whenever that happens. Um last time they let so I, I first time I had extra drill against Smeargle, is able to get a pretty big advantage by just rapid spinning twice. The second game they let Diggers be anticipating that, but I had great tusk out there instead. I think Landers is not that important in this game. Obviously, I don't need gravity. I don't think it's too essential. It's just nice to have. Ditto is actually one of the bigger things. So this, this this matchup becomes a bit of a sack war where Ditto can come in and like, my Pokemon don't have good walls for my Pokemon, if you know what I mean, because the Ditto will come in. And Landers is good in that extent too, because the Scarf Landers isn't as threatening and I can go to a flying type on my own ground types that have been copied by Ditto. Anyways, I'm now an expert on this specific team matchup after playing what I have. Uh, I'm going to do Garchomp this time. We get Diggersby here. Uh, I'll just EQ. No answer for it. We'll probably see Ditto come in after the fact and copy me and go for a skill shot. That's fine. I'll just go to Hippo if that's the case. Could risk X X is just like a win com. The thing I like about this, about this specific team is I just think it's interesting to have like this all encompassing win condition where it's just like Exadrill goes off. I, I I set the stage for Exadrill and I let it win, like we saw last game. Can you kill me? Woo! Three health, baby. Totally got me. I was like, they're gonna do Diggersby again after the last game? That's surprising. Fair. 
I forgot about that. I should have known that misplan my part. Most people are probably like, how could you ever expect an Excel rock in that situation? I should have admittedly. Uh, they now have no one to stop the rapid spin. So this is a pretty clean answer. Um, they could just go to Snorlax here. They spore me. Mm, I thought they would just go for wet. Mm. I'm not playing this great, honestly. Again, they endeavor me. Just annoying. Uh, I gotta go Claude Sire. I, I knew they had Endeavor too. What am I doing? I can handle this fine. There's Diggers B. We get the poison off. I'm really stupid. Frustrating on my part. Like, the thing about this matchup against this person's team is they've almost gotten three guaranteed kills every time they play me. Where. Smeargle with the, with the Endeavor, blah, blah, blah. Even if I know it's coming, I played that really badly before. Um, even if I know it's coming, it's really hard to avoid. The best answer is Claude Sire because it can water absorb and resist the Excel Rock. Breakneck Bix or Blitz, I don't really have an answer for my team, so it almost always claims a kill. And the Storlax, was so it's and Self-Destruct and uh, Heat Crash, has also claimed a kill almost every time. So it almost becomes a three-person game against the Ditto and the Diggers meet everyone else. So I should have the advantage, but... Summing up now, I've just had really struggled with these three claiming their kills no matter what. And it could have been better if I hadn't played. Like, Smeargle pretty much got two from us. So, annoying. Uh, I'm going to stack extra drill. I don't think I'll be woken up at this point. Oh, boy. They should not risk this. They could go for another sword stand. This is probably all the attack you need, my friend. I don't want to lose this. Damn, I've got no excuse. I, I really know this matchup. I get a kill if I wake up. They might win if they get the Swords Dance. I think that's a correct play. I got great Tusk here. We have speed. Um, let's just Headlong Rush. Great. I, they still have not picked up all the intel on me. Luckily, they didn't know a scarf, I don't think. Yeah, I feel like that's the play there. Maybe they're hoping I had a rapid spin. Hippo handles that easily. Gets eject button too. So I guess I don't even know who I'm going to go to after this. You know, actually sack the ditto. That's big for us because this ditto has been super annoying. Go Lando. Oh, he invites in Snorlax. I just go hard if I want. Um, although, realistically, I'm really, I'm really conflicted right now. Um, so, Claude's Eric can handle. It's the only Mon that can just get Endeavor and not really worry about Endeavor Excel Rock with Smeargle because it has a recovery from Black Sludge. Everyone resists Excel Rock, but if you're at 1% health, it doesn't matter. Um, Landorus at full can beat Low Punny. Soak on Hip Out on. This thing's going to do so much damage to me right now. I might even just endure at this point. Focus Blast. Doesn't even come close to killing Snorlax. It's so freaking tanky. I don't know. There's 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 a, there's, a, there's a correct path here, and I'm kind of overwhelmed by all the all the situations right now. I really don't know what to click. Um, I think Great Test might be the least valuable right now, and I think it might be the only one who can Oko the Snorlax. And if you boom, then it's the best mon for it to boom on. Yes. Okay. See what I mean? Like there's just guaranteed kills, kind of. Uh. I will go Landorus. Covers a Smeargle. Smeargle can only survive if they come in clean like this. We get the low punny who has the weirdest set. Again, you guys are just getting like all the backstory on this thing, but my, you can imagine me pulling up my hair, finding this out firsthand. It has Toxic Encore, uh, Frustration, and I think one more weird one. And they're gonna forfeit. I did think I had it there because Landorus, they couldn't Oko the Landorus. And there was no world where Smeargle won. So that was insanely difficult game. <laughs> You guys can see why how harrowing that was.
We're against Psychic here. I love a neutral matchup, but there's no advantage one way or the other. Same with the Mono Poison, Mono Normal last game. I realized I was being very complainy there, but it's just kind of, <laughs> it's just, it gets you sometimes. Um, let's go as a lead. So Mega Gallade. See, that's the thing. Gallade for the longest time <laughs> used to be like, you see a Gallade and you're like, it's, it's, it's Mega Gallade. It's, oh. It's Mega Gallade. Like you knew that because what else other reason you would carry it nowadays? But nowadays it's like a solid banded sharpness mon. So I don't I don't just automatically assume that nowadays. You can almost make the argument that's better than Mega Gallade at this point. I wouldn't, but you could. Um So wait, is Mega Metacross allowed this tier? I'd be surprised. Maybe there is a bit of indecision there, actually. Who knows? We're gonna lead, they have no, again, it's kind of frustrating. I'm using a gravity team and the gravity hasn't really come out at all. It hasn't really been very relevant. Garchomp I'd like is a lead. We're probably gonna be in hell actually, looking at the matchup, we're gonna be in hell with Tapu Lele. Uh, extra resist everything, but has no investment. Lots are can take one, but not the other. Um, they should just be clicking in second moves against us all day. So I really want to limit this Tapu Lele, in which case I should probably go for Toxic Spikes ASAP. I don't think Psychic will kill us here. Psyshock might. Mm, this is my, a very important mom, but I, I think I want Hazards a lot. Actually, you're going to have a removal. Starmie's bad. Starmie's bad. <laughs> Not good, it's bad. Uh, and I, I, I'm tempted to right now go hip out on, we eject button, we go exit drill, boom, let's go to work. But you are probably Sash. And that's it, but that's enough. It's enough, it's scary enough. Um, I'm gonna go for it. We get Metagross here. And I don't know what's legal in this freaking tier yet, I'm embarrassed to say. I don't know if you can kill me. I'll go Hippo because that's a, it'll live everything and it's fine for eject button. This is very scary. This is a good extra duel matchup though. Very, very good. Just gotta limit that damn Alakazam. Oh, I assume has Sash. I mean, Sash mods I think are really good in this tier, honestly. Like there's last generation of Focus Sash, uh, Crocodile was so useful in this tier. Okay. You can't Oko me, Starmie. Maybe for specs. Apparently very easily if you're Light Fork. Got it, fine. I'll go Claude. I'm gonna keep up the spike. You're taking so much damage right now, it's crazy. Gallade comes in. We died a Leaf Blade probably, but we'll still activate a Jack Button. Does that make it not work? That's annoying. For Stealth Rocks here. You are Sharpness. You are become the Sharpness. Uh, Tusk lives Leaf Blade. Oh! Actually, we're still faster. Nice. Uh, Headlong Rush claims one right now. Okay. What an interesting interaction that was. Let's go Hippo, activate the sand, kills Gallade, I go Esco. It lives? What a unit. Think I'm Starmie. I'm gonna slack off on the rapid spin. A gutsy play, but it pays off. I'm thinking you don't have a psychic move there, my friend. It's fine by me, man. Uh, let's go Tusk in case you do something silly. By mid ground. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, kind of in indecision on what to do. I mean, just like, just a solid play. I'm not going to be upset about this. Earthquake's going to do a lot. Just scouting the Landers Incarnate in the comments here. Apu Lele, the fear of this whole game, finally comes out and they sack it to it straight up, which is very odd. I thought that was one of the more threatening mons in this matchup. 
Uh, I guess that invites in Zam, but I think we live a dazzling gleam, honestly, and I just go for a, uh, maybe they might just lose to this guy. Cause if, if, if we get Zam, I got scale shot. We live all of Victini shit, unless it's running Glaciate. Um, it can't even bullet punch after I go for this. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. If we get a two hit, we don't get the kill, but actually we're fast at that point. Yeah, GG, pretty clean one. It's a nice earthquake play. I thought that was the obvious play before, <laughs> for being honest. Garchomp's gonna sweep for the end game. Yeah, not allowed in that partner. Very nice, okay. Momentum's good right now, 3-0, 3-0, uh, despite a very close call with Mono Normal. I got a fourth matchup against them, I'm gonna scream. But uh, very nice to see, very nice to see. We get ground here, I mean... <laughs>
and then Ripperino. You're dead. Maybe Charizard lives one. Let's see. <laughs> Did not live one. <laughs> and they forfeit. I can hardly blame them. That's a tough matchup. GG to them. The win streak continues, man. Um, I'm not gonna say anything stupid like we're gonna play until we lose because there's a good chance I'm back here tomorrow playing some more mono ground, depending on how you guys vote or how you guys like or dislike the video. Imagine if I asked for 500 likes and I got 500 dislikes, that would be insane. I would like respect the hustle and then just like never upload mono ground again. Like they hate mono ground. <laughs> this is the worst thing they've ever seen. We're gonna get steel next. Uh, let's see. Really excellent matchup for uh, Gravity because they're going to be leaning on Celesteel a lot for this. Uh, this is a tough matchup. Like I, I think they actually can give some pressure on, especially if it's an Air Balloon Heat Ran. I am going to lead with my. Let's just get it popping. You go Landorus against you. Um, you can't kill us. Earth Power, get the kill. Yeah, I was tempted to go for Gravity on the Celesteel read, but like I could have done that after the fact. Then we'll um I'll do I'll do Garchomp here actually. You can't kill me. You can't even knock me off, which is nice. Wow, 64 is nothing. We get the burn and they forfeit immediately. On a swords dance? Come on, bro. You're better than that. That was a weird play. Because there's no way you're beating my Exedrill and my Garchomp and my Great Tusk with a fucking scissor. Like the, the burn did not matter. <laughs> Like it, like it mattered in the sense that like I was gonna win very very easily after that fact, but like that was not, that did not decide the game, that 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 greedy swords dance decided the game. Um, what is even plus three? Maybe it was max attack. They'd be able to kill the guard chomp, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm dubious. Five and zero. Oh. This win streak, it just it can't be stopped. Live OGM reaction when we get five and zero. Oh. I was lagging. Fight back, OGM. Fight back. Meanwhile, we get the bird up here. Oh no, why is it so laggy right now? Bird. Oh, what a disaster that is. Horrible. See, I'm leaning on the stream deck too much right now. I've got all these plugins. While we wait for games. <laughs> it's, you gotta make yourself laugh at the end of the day, you know? Uh, let's, uh, also a fantastic gravity team. I was I was complaining we get to showcase gravity earlier. Woo, wee. Like, Eyes like everyone but Glasser is gonna get easily o code by Earthquake. Let's just let's just get a roll in here. Uh, I outspeed, so we'll go for gravity. You have no chance to kill me. The thing is, Landers is also a good abuser of gravity, too. You gotta keep the minds like Earth Power is a hard thing to deal with. Um, I'm wearing shoes right now. You guys are wondering what I'm doing. Oh, like that. These two at KO. Oh. I'm wearing shoes right now. Oh. You guys probably can't even hear that. I'm too far away from the mic. If you're wondering why I'm wearing shoes, it's because I have extremely wide feet. My feet are actually pretty big in general, but like they're very wide. So it's hard enough to get like a freaking size 13 shoe, but size 13 wide is impossible. So I just really have to like work with what I have. And it's so like tough to decide if it's slightly too like short or not. So I've been wearing them around the house all day, trying to like do these fit, do these not fit? Like what's going on? Oh, this is a golden hippo opportunity here. Um, oh, this game plan is perfect. X is getting two right now. I'll tell you that for nothing. But yeah, no, I've been I mean, literally wearing these around the house like all day, just like, because I don't want to get them dirty. I want to be able to return them in case I decide they don't fit. But I'm going to wear them around the house all day and decide after the fact, like, is it good? Like, what's going on? Is it fit okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> This is the ultimate gravity game, honestly. And I don't blame them. Like, I don't know what the win con is if you're them. Uh, we're going to go to Hippo straight away. I'll slack off. I actually have nothing to, to deal with them. Then... Can him power ice? Let's just kill Garchomp, honestly. It's simple. We uh, we kill the Garchomp. Fine by me, because now I can do this for the win. Uh, you 
you do about speed. But like, I get one kill here at least. Actually, no, it's just like being stupid. This is the play. No need to overthink this. There's one. It's the easiest game I'll play all day. Get a chance to kill. Chance doesn't pay off. Oh, oh, how lucha. Bird up. Bird up. And then Charizard. GG. Maybe it's Charizard Y. Doesn't matter. We still got gravity. Gives us the protosynthesis boost. <laughs> oh my god. This is unprecedented success. 6 and 0. Oh? Come on. Come on. Give me a loss. Give me one loss. I'm too cocky. Here we're in my shoes. I have way too much ego here. I need ego death. Give me a water matchup. I, that's the thing, actually. I, I'd like to be like, oh, 6-0. I'm, I'm the greatest ever. We have gotten some pretty solid matchups across the board. Like, that flying team might on paper seem like a bad one, but that I could play that game 100 times versus that person. I don't know if I'm losing more than one of them. Like, that was just such a commanding matchup for us, as long as we have gravity. Um, so, yeah, you just feel for that situation. Maybe, like, yeah, well, what do you even do if you're my opponent in that situation? I'm getting fire. And yeah, we got in steel. And we got in a normal type person that played three times, so I knew the exact sets they were running. Like this has been pretty fortunate for me. Uh what's her what's her ladder ranking? We if we want to get top 500, which at this rate is gonna happen this live. What are we looking at? 1483. That's not bad. That's pretty easy to get to. I feel like we're sniffing around that point. Thunder's legend. Very cool. I actually played against uh, the best Project M player, uh, Thunder's Reign. And I remember it very... Uh, Project M is actually a mod of Smash Bros, I should mention. And I remember it very precisely because I was making this joke while we were warming up and before we played. And I was like, so when I signed up for the tournament and, you know, gave the entry fees, I didn't say this, but I'm explaining it to you guys. Like the entry fee for the tournament was like 50 bucks. I was like, should I have just given that to you directly? Cause you're going to win this whole tournament. This guy was the goat at the time. Like, do you, do you want the money directly? Should I just like Venmo you? Like, what's the deal? And <laughs> my friend was with me and he like laughs nervously. But meanwhile, this guy just, and it's like literally doesn't respond to me. Completely like snubs me. <laughs> it was the most embarrassing moment of my life. This guy's got this sick DK. He's about to literally eight stock me in within 10 seconds. Oh, there's the water I asked for. And he just does not care. <laughs> he is the most like face you've ever seen. So my, that, that one friend always mocks me for saying like, wow, you really got like roasted by thunders, eh? I was like, yeah, I don't, we don't want to talk about it. Go for Toxic Specs immediately. This is the only answer versus Pelipper I like straight away. Probably invites in Pelip, Swampert, but oh well. You get Fion instead. Uh, I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm just going to do. 284. You just do some crazy setup shit, right? With hydration. I was expecting Man Mantine here. This might be stupid because you're one of my only water answers. Was indeed stupid. At least we have speed. We still have speed even after Mega. Get some not much damage on the guy. Holy. Uh, okay, yep. Ice Beam. 39. So you won't be able to kill. You're probably fizzed up if you're only taking that much from Garchomp, right? So hold on. I'm actually going to calc this a little bit. 252. 252. They have to be max defense. In which case, Landorus should be able to kill here. Okay. We'll click that. You know, I want a gravity. I, I, I You know, I should have. Uh, let's go Claude. Claude Walls for now. I'll probably go for double swap after this. If we're winning this game, it's purely through outplaying them, honestly. Um, let's go to... They if they Hydro Pump. That's on them. Like that would be a bad play on their part. Uh, okay, we get this. Ah, do we die to a Surf? Probably, right? I'm gonna grab you and hope they're overzealous. Their scarf. 
It's probably game. Because I can't beat these two mons with Exca. Um Blood Scarf. Damn, 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 damn. With Fion here, we should easily beat you. And I hope they're not defog at this point. Fair. I don't have hydration. Scarf, so I have to go Claude. They are defog scarf scald U turn. Of course they are. Looks like again a Swampert comes in. I'll go Hippo on the EQ. They stealth rock there. I'm gonna go for my own, try to pressure this guy. Is it just a defensive Swampert? The Hippo, I really gotta outplay them every turn here. Lothrox again, you're locked into that. Amstar makes an appearance. I'm just gonna whirlwind. Welcome back. You should be able to beat me 1v1. Like this Swampert should be like the, just the death of me. Attack me with this, that's fine. Nothing. Claude here, hope you don't earthquake that turn. Yeah, good play, good play. Husk here, maybe the Yawn. I think I can do about it, really. It's fine. And then we'll go for the knock, honestly. I think it's optimal waterfall. Do you not have a water move? You must not. So, hippo walls. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go claw and get a recover on the defog. Or that. That works out fine. Or toxic spike here. You should not be able to beat me 1v1. You get Tail Glow too, though? Hmm. I have to say. Uh, give me a poison, please. We're wearing him down. It's slowly happening. Give me the poison. Mm. Definitely a defog here. Ox Spike. I might just bash it again. More toxic spice than they have defogs. So let's just keep doing it. Great limits at Swampert. Hippo walls, if I'm not incorrect here. Uh, I'll Earthquake. Yeah, nice, nice. That was a tough 50-50 for sure. Okay. Helper, we go Claw. Do they defog again? Kingdra's still scared. The whole game is Claude Sire, honestly. Amazing. Let's just poison jab whoever they go to. I'm gonna assume the Draco Meteor here. Outrage are physical. Holy crap. Okay, that should be Pelipper again. This is the problem with the Scarf Pelipper, is like, I'm, I'm so abusing this matchup against them. You should just double swap right here. A Defog. Hippo. Take the Amistar. They should just hard surf right now. I don't know what the play is. If I go, on, if I go, Claude Sire, Earthquake's a four hit KO. Like after Shell Smash, it'll be like a two hit KO, whatever. But that's still not good enough. Ice Beam will boost past us. I wonder if I sack Tusk and then go Excadrill. Like, I get like if I know for a fact that they're going to Shell Smash here, then I Earthquake or Whirlwind, whatever. Um. But I don't think they should. I think they should definitely just attack here. If I go closer, then they can do it after the fact, right? Maybe the play is to go Claude Sire and then Exodrill, because Exodrill should outspeed. Okay, it's risky, but I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna go for it. But you gotta take a risk to win this game. Okay, that's crazy.
earthquake crits, which is nice. I might need Great Tusk to beat Rotom. I, I can't risk Clotar anymore. Like, this is already too scary. We hardwall Pelipper. We should hardwall Rotom. I need Hippo with Swampert dead. Maybe not. Hextral actually isn't that useful beyond this immediate situation. Let's do it. With you, we're faster. Ironhead should do something to everyone except for Rotom. Great. I was wondering if they, if they kept it, but then we could have lost. That was a huge misplay on their part. Oh, we're outsped. Silly, silly play. I don't think it's the end of the world, which gives us way less flexibility. Spikes now does nothing. I don't know if I can outpace this Fion. Is it a stall set? And like, they should have tail glow, right? Can't get frozen, luckily. Come on, give me a poison. I need one. Burning through recovers. It's gonna be a loss. Actually, if I'm not getting one poison, please. I guess they're running out of ice beams. Come on, bro. Oh, I lose. That's so annoying. Seven poison jabs, not one poison. There's the crit. We don't have many ice beams left at least, but they should still have surf. I lose. Damn. I needed I needed a poison. I need to pressure them and force a rest. I'll do this for the next time it comes in. I mean the good news is it's still a black sludge and I still completely wall these mons. Give me a poison. Thank you. Okay, they can't hydration, so there's a couple turns where I can go for a hit here. All right, Claude. Very nice, get some HP. Nice. I don't think this changes anything. <laughs> we just have to wait at the rain here. What a weird end game. One more turn. They rest here. Oh, it doesn't affect there. Oh, that's amazing. No lefters is super nice. Claude. Please give me more poison jab props, I beg of you. What a weird end game. This is the last video of the live, for sure. The last game of the live. They're almost out of rest PP at this point, honestly. And they forfeit. Okay, that gets us to 1508. Actually is the last little nudge we need to get in the top 500. We are at, wow, it's really condensed. Top 200, very sick. Okay, so that was a great live, very successful. Fun times were had by all. Once again, if you guys wanna see some more mono ground and a sandless mono ground this time against the top 500 ladder, make sure to let me know in the comments below. We got seven and zero today, not bad for pretty high ladder. But I'll catch you guys next time, take care.